In this video, I'm gonna be going over how to properly fade music in Final Cut Pro. This is a little bit embarrassing to say, but ever since I started editing, I thought the only way to fade music was to drag on that little button that says fade audio. But the proper way to fade sounds is actually by using keyframes. Let me explain. So here I am in Final Cut Pro. I have a couple of clips and some text and the sound that we're gonna be using. So the feature that I used to use was this little button right here where it says fade audio out. And over here it says fade audio in. And I would just drag this and then that's it. That's all I would do. But this became a problem once I started to do outros because in order to do this on the same song, what you would have to do is you would have to cut it right at the part where you want it to progressively get louder. So if I wanted it to be loud right here, I would cut it beforehand and then drag the slider up to the point. But if you do it this way, then it sounds a little bit weird and the transition isn't that effective. What you wanna do instead is use keyframes. So in order to use keyframes, what you would have to do is you would click on the sound and then you'd go up to the top right hand corner, right here where it says add a keyframe. You would click on that and then you would see right here at the sound that there's a white dot that shows up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another keyframe to where I want it to be loud. And you can use these two arrows right here to go from the next keyframe to the previous keyframe. So I'm gonna go back to the previous keyframe and I'm gonna lower the volume down to about negative 22 decibels. That means throughout this whole segment right here, the sound is at negative 22 decibels. And at this moment where this keyframe is, it's gonna start slowly transitioning all the way up to negative four decibels. This is also good when you're trying to transition from B-roll back to A-roll where the person is talking. Obviously the B-roll is gonna have music that's louder. And then once the person on the screen starts talking, that's when you can lower down the volume. The great thing about this is you can add as many keyframes as you want. So if there's parts of the video where you start talking and then it switches to B-roll and then you start talking again, then you can add and remove keyframes to your video so that it makes sense. So I'll show you guys an example of what I mean right now. So I have this clip right here. I'm gonna drag it in between and I'm gonna extend the audio to the end. So let's say this is the B-roll portion right here. So I want the music to be louder, but then for this section, I want it to be lowered. Well, all I would have to do is just choose a point where I wanna start. So let's say right here, I would click on the audio and then go up to here where it says add keyframe. Then I would add a keyframe at the end and then change it to be negative 22 decibels again. And this is what the result will sound like. So as you guys can tell from that clip, that sounded a lot better instead of cutting the clips and using the built-in fade feature. You could still use the fading button for things like sound effects and things that you wanna fade from the beginning or at the end. But if you wanna fade the middle parts without it sounding weird, then yeah, using keyframes is your best option. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys got a ton of value out of it. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. We make a ton of tutorial videos dedicated to helping entrepreneurs start their own business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.